everyone, welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Elder Scrolls Fire Skyrim Creation Club Edition. In the last episode, we did three little quests. Uh, the last one was definitely the most exciting. Uh, getting the Bloodworm Helm, the Staff of Worms, uh, and also the Helm of Orion Bearclaw. But today we are in Riften because we are looking for a note of some kind, or perhaps a journal, since the wiki doesn't seem to be able to differentiate the two. Uh, but yes, we're looking for some sort of note that should hopefully so start us face. on another quest. Yes, I hate you too, Sapphire. The feeling is mutual. Let's just, uh, let's just move on. Are you hiding? Oh, notice of cost increase. Mm. That's not what we're looking for. No, that's, uh, that's a sh just a vanilla thing. Are you hiding anything back here? What was that? Who's, who's, oh, you're just a thief? Okay, well, uh, <laughs> the, the thing with, I've always had this bug with thieves in my game, which is that they just never... Is that? Wow. <laughs> Look at that high pixel rabbit. Yeah, they, they always just kind of run around and they never actually do anything, which is then annoying because if I attack them, then I tend to get in trouble sometimes, but not always. But then they also cause problems because I can't fast travel and it's, it's just all around very annoying. I probably should have found this note before I started the episode, but never mind. Hopefully it is going to be upstairs. Excuse me. business with you. So yes, yes, Sapphire, face. you hate me. We get it. Let's just move on. Uh, that door is locked. Doesn't mean we can't go in there, though, because we can always just pick the lock. No, that is not what we wanted. Hi. Um, I'm looking for a note of some kind. Come on. Don't make this difficult. Is it really going to be in the locked one? I don't... Oh, letter to Clexius. That is what I wanted. <laughs> Dear Clexius, it is as you feared. The news here in Riften is troubling on many levels. Now, I've studied goblins all my life, and while customs differ from tribe to tribe, one thing has always held true. They are beholden to their shamans, and removing them will turn the entire tribe docile. Moreover, we have seen this method work in practice, most famously with the Three Feather tribe near Bruma. Yet still, the rumours persist of goblin activity near the border. Most disturbing is the news that the Blue God himself is leading them. Could it be Malakath himself in some form? Regardless, if some Daedric being has found its way to this realm, this is a cause for concern. I'll be heading to Grom's Pass in the morning to investigate. Faithfully yours, Avanessa Caladius. The Blue God? Yeah, apparently... I know, when I, when I saw the Blue God, I kind of assumed Vivek? Because isn't that a nickname? I'm not sure. I'm not, not very well versed in the Morrowind stuff. But yes, I know Malakath is a little bit different to the other Daedric princes. Because he was like, he was once an orc or something. I'm not really sure. Head to Grom's Pass. Oh wow, it looks like it is actually taking us to like, you know, it might actually be taking us to like Cyrodiil. Obviously we're still going to be in Skyrim. But, you know, often does that where it like, it says you're in Skyrim, but really you're somewhere else. But yeah, uh, unfortunately we have... Nowhere nearby, so let's actually go to Crystal Drift Cave. And we can run our little Khajiit feet over there. Yep, yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a bear when we spawn. Uh, we do, however, have a very cool sword though, so that should be no problem for us. I'm actually surprised at how much uh, one-handed damage uh, we're dealing, to be honest. Uh, I did put some perks into one-handed, so that could be helping, I suppose. But, you yeah, to know, we're not exactly playing on a hard difficulty, we're just on adept, so... Yeah, I suppose it's not too difficult, and it, honestly, the sword is pretty cool. <laughs> to be fair, and it's obviously very, very cool looking as well, so. Yeah, I was kind of thinking, Vive I swear Vivek, isn't he called, like, the Blue God or something? That is a dragon, what, stray dog? Huh? I just, <laughs> I saw, um, I saw his name flash up. Oh, here! Stray dog! Hi! Uh, it's time for you to go back home, dog. Your pet heads back home. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's just move on, I guess. We have a dragon burial site here, uh, which is devoid of its dragon. I don't, I don't know. Is it the one up there? I'm not sure. It would be strange to put them so close together. I see cultists over there. Isn't this brilliant? Man, I really do hate the cultists, I'm not gonna lie, they're very difficult to deal with and very, very annoying. <laughs> um, but nevertheless, we'll have to kill them. Uh, honestly, the thing I hate most is just that 
they shoot fire at you and I don't like the fire because then you can't see what you're doing, which really annoys me. When when visibility is low, uh, yeah, I don't like it so much. Have we got healing in our left hand? Yes, we do. Uh, hi, can you can you just uh, let me kill you, please, so that we can move on? I'm, you know, this episode isn't really about you, so, you know, yeah, Mirak's not going to help you. He's all the way in Solstheim. You're actually, like, as, like, as far away from Solstheim as you can get, really. I mean, not really, because I suppose if you were in, uh, in, like, the Reach, you'd be further away, technically, but whatever. Oh, wow, we've got a bear as well. Isn't that brilliant? We've got a respiration increase. That's nice. You never get those. Those are, yeah, very, very rare to come by. Uh, bears are not rare, however, they are everywhere and I hate them. But this looks like Grom's pass to me. We've got a dead elk here, uh, but never mind. We've got some blood spl splattered all over the rocks, which is not a good sign. But hey, whenever you go into a dungeon, you don't expect it to be a good time. <laughs> Investigate the cave. We've got some bone chimes here that we're just going to walk through. Oh! <laughs> Hi, guys! Goblin! <laughs> So this is not an enemy type that is usually in Skyrim. This is an added, a new one. But yes, very, very interesting. They are in um, Oblivion, however. One of the main enemy types. They're quite annoying, to be honest. Uh, and yeah, I think, I'm not sure, because there is a side quest that we did in Oblivion where basically you have to go in, well, you can either just kill them all or you can steal the shaman's staff. And it basically puts a stop to a goblin war. And it's kind of like a side quest. We've got some steel blue entoloma here. I have no idea what they are, but okay. A new a new ingredient, clearly. Uh, we've got some reclaimed architecture here, but obviously they're just reusing that and it's meant to be uh, goblins. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go along with it there. Oh, I know you just ran straight into those, but it doesn't really matter, but. I see someone who is dead. Up ahead, but yeah, I was wondering if um, I, mean, I don't remember where. Oh look, this is actually the person who wrote that letter. I don't remember where that quest was where we like stole the staff. I think we actually just killed them actually because we were playing a warrior. Um, but yeah, I don't remember where that was because the journal mentioned like a thing near Bruma, so it may have been referring to what we did. But I'm not sure because I don't remember where that quest took place. I thought it was further south, like closer to Shadenhall but I could be completely wrong. Uh, clearly these goblins have been uh, killing a whole lot of people. I can hear them. Hi! Uh, they've also got pretty good perception, but uh, no matter. Whoa, 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 what on earth is that attack? That guy had, they, they've got, given them like new attacks, I think. Unless actually, to be fair, it could be the reclaim attacks. And what is going on here? Uh. That's gonna make a thumbnail, so... What? What is happening? Yeah, it might be the reclaim attack, actually. Well, I see a blue god of some sort, and also arena down here. Let's kill this guy, who just seems to be dancing. What's going on down here, guys? Oh, I've been detected. Not sure by who. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. He's clearly the winner of some sort of arena game. I'm not really sure. I've got another pass down there. But kill the blue god. I mean, whoa, what is that weapon? I have no idea, but that's very cool. He looks kind of just like an orc that's painted himself blue. Hi. Uh, who are you, sir? Sir, I would really like that weapon, by the way. Can you tell me about it? What is that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'll, I'll speed it along. Don't worry about it. I'll also kill your little followers here. Yeah, I think that is actually, it might be the reclaim attack. It just looks weird because they're... Uh, bigger than the reclings are. They've all got poisons as well, which is interesting. So the Blue God, Blue God's journal, which, <laughs> look, it's like a red journal, but it's been painted. It's like, it's got like blue paint on it. Cause yeah, I think he's, he's an orc and he's been painted blue basically. And he has goblin totem stuff. Oh wow. He literally has a goblin head on it. How very grim is that? <laughs> wow. Yeah, pretty, pretty grim. But very cool looking. I also forgot, to, I did not look at uh, <laughs> what, what, what the enchantment did. Goblin Totem Staff. Lightning Bolt, it does 40 points of shock damage to health and half to Magicka, then leaps to a new target. Okay. I have, oh, so like if I were to focus it on this guy, 
then once this guy's dead, it would then like automatically go to this guy or something. I don't know. Let's read his journal. I can hear someone mining to my right. Uh, but we'll deal with them later. Oh, free the goblin from the pit. Interesting. The tribe demanded I prove myself as a hunter. They want me to trap some game and return to the stronghold, probably for a ce celebratory feast. It shouldn't be too hard. I already set, already set up a snare by the water. Now I can just sit back and let the food come to me. My snare trap doesn't seem to be working. I tried it to a stick. I tied it to a stick, just like they said. Clearly Lob gave me a flimsy rope. Either that or the sticks out here are no good. I don't know how they expect me to hunt with such broken tools. It's been only it's only been a few days, but I already feel like giving up. I'm hungry and I've gone through all the bread Atub gave me. By Malakath, they really expect me to die out here? The rabbits here are too nimble to chase down. I thought I could just grab one if, if I put some bait in my pockets, but the problem is I don't have any bait. I shouldn't have eaten all the carrots in my sack, but I was starving. Malakath's blessings, I'm alive. I found a cave south of my camp full of strange blue mushrooms, which I immediately ate. I remember Atub saying something about some mushrooms being poisonous, but I didn't get sick, so what does she know? Anyways, I ended up filling my sack with them. If I come back with a full stomach, maybe I can convince the others we don't need to hunt. I came back to Lagerspur with my sack full of mushrooms and one by one, they spit them out and mocked my hunting skills. If that wasn't humiliating enough, Chief Yamaz took a hammer and crushed the sack, then dumped the contents on my head. None of my tribe mates bothered to defend me. They just stood there and laughed. Now Yamaz says I have to go back out there and catch something with some legs. It's not fair. When's the last time he caught anything? I'm so hungry. Hunting is impossible. Maybe I'll just die. That'll teach them to leave me out here alone. By Malakath, what just happened? I went back to the cave to pick some more mushrooms when something must have tripped me up. Tripped me because I fell into a pit. I yelled out for help, but instead of getting rescued, I was quickly surrounded by a horde of green monsters, hissing and gnashing their teeth. I figured that was it, they were going to eat me. But before I could scream, one of them dropped to his knees and started bowing. The others followed. Could they be goblins? You never see them this far north. In any case, they seem to be treating me like an honoured guest. Blessings of Malakath, it turns out they think I'm a god. They don't seem to treat the other orcs the same. So it must be the blue stains on my face. I need to thank you, Mars, for dumping that sack on my head. I think I'll do that right before I have my goblins claw open his face. My army grows by the day. Soon we'll have enough members to overrun the stronghold. For now, I have them collecting blue mushrooms from Cyrodiil so I can maintain the ruse, although some of them might be starting to suspect. The other day, I think one of them saw me, s me use a stick to spread blue paint on my back. I'll need to keep a close eye on him. I figured out who it was that saw me. It's that nasty little runt with the funny looking spear. It seems he's, he's the hunter of the group. He reminds me of every orc back at Lagerspur who laughed in my face. I tried to grab the spear from him, but he must have done something to it because it was too heavy to lift. I don't know if it's Hircine or Malakath that's protecting him, but he needs to learn that goblins have only have one god, the blue god, me. The tunnel the goblins were using to come here from Cyrodiil's collapsed. No matter, my army is nearly big enough to take the stronghold, and once that's done, I can sell you Mars's things for a whole wagon full of paint. Before I do that, though, I need to make an example of the non-believer. Once he's dealt with, it'll show all the other goblins what happens when you question your god. Okay, so this guy was clearly just a reject uh, who was on some sort of power trip. Yeah, you can indeed see he is literally just an orc. And yeah, Lagerspur is actually um, a place you actually deal with Malakath uh, daily quests there. So yeah, you do go there for something else. Uh, I would take this coin purse as well. <laughs> These guys won't be needing it anymore. Uh, Orcish War, War Axe of Arking. Meh, we don't need that. Um, I wonder if the spear... I don't know, it might be that guy? I don't know. Oh yeah, actually, that is totally a unique spear. So yeah, I guess that is what he's talking about. There are a whole load of bone chimes here. Uh, but that goes to a big chest. So we will go there afterwards, but I think we want to be going this way. It's annoying that we can't infinite roll with only one weapon out. We have to have two weapons out to do that, which is slightly annoying, but no matter. We've got bigger problems, haven't we? So there's a goblin there. 
Uh, let's sneak up and see if we can kill him. He's actually mining, which is interesting. I didn't know they had a mining animation uh, for such lowly creatures, but apparently they do. I'll be taking all of these mushrooms, thank you. Is there anything else for me here? No, nothing at all. Oh, I thought I heard someone walking, but I think we just need to release this guy. Do we need to kill him? Speak to the goblin. Oh look, he's got a cool helmet on as well. Can I, can I, can I have that helmet, please? Talk to, go. <laughs> it's like, is it like Vincent Van Gogh? I don't, I don't know. Go. <laughs> oh wow, that's a unique noise. <laughs> um. I take it you realise that orc wasn't a god. <laughs> Oh! Hmm. Well, the thing is, I want his stuff. <laughs> so... You can handle yourself in a fight. I could use someone like you. Alright then, let's go. Okay. Brilliant. And now I'm going to save the game and I'm going to kill him. Um, because I want to see if I can take his stuff. Oh, he's essential. Oh. Who is walking? I can hear someone walking. Okay, so he's essential. Well, that's very annoying. I mean, can I pickpocket him? No, I can't. Oh! Oh, but we can talk to him, okay. <laughs> Look at me going straight to murder. I want to talk about your spear. Does it have any special abilities? Hmm. I don't understand. Okay, yeah, so, I mean, can we... Can we just trade it and take it? I need to trade some things with you. <laughs> Troll skull added. You gave me a skull. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. Give me your stuff. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Can we really not take his stuff? Are you joking? I need you to change your equipment. <laughs> Let's change your helmet. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. A uh, leather helmet. <laughs> okay. Does that? But I, I want his skull mask. <laughs> so yeah, now he puts it back on. I mean, can I really <laughs> not take the stuff? <laughs> I want his stuff. Can we trade some stuff again? No, he literally won't let me take his stuff. Okay. I mean... Can we... Can I try it out? I'm guessing that's a no. Yeah. Okay, so he won't let me take his stuff. Okay, well... Can I tell him to go back to my house? No, I can't. Okay. Um... Okay, well, damn it. I'm assuming that means we can't take his stuff then. Um, I will, yeah, no, we literally can't do anything, so. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I will look up, uh, kind of, you know, after the episode to see if there is any way we can take his stuff. It's really rare that they literally don't let you take, you know, unique stuff at all, but. Yeah, I mean, they literally won't let us. There was no way to take his stuff, it appears. And we can't even kill him because he's considered essential. I don't know if... Because you can go into the console uh, to uh, make NPCs not essential. So I don't know if there's a console command that will allow us to do that for him. But even if we did, uh, it might not kill him. <laughs> uh, sorry, he might not actually drop his stuff. Wow. It's worth 4,000 gold. I'll be taking that. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it might actually still be worthless to try and kill him. Is there anything else back here other than the more 
blue mushrooms. Also, I love how that guy said, you know, he almost had an army and there were, what, like, maybe seven goblins in the entire place. <laughs> uh, which is not exactly what I call an army, but, uh, you know, each to your own, I guess. The guy was a little bit delusional anyway. Also got a whole load of dwarven oil, which is interesting. I'm not really sure what the link is there. Can I take this stuff, please? Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just, uh, we'll have this guy follow us for the rest of the episode, I suppose, so that we don't lose him, in case there is any way that we can, uh, kill him and take his stuff. Uh, which we are totally gonna do, by the way. Even if it means that we have to use the console, we will do it. Um, because, you know, achievements don't really matter, uh, because I've already got all the achievements anyway, so <laughs> it doesn't matter about that. Um, also, I was gonna, uh, see if that book we picked up from this girl was anything. I don't think it was. Uh, what was it? The posting of the hunt. Is this anything important? I don't think so. Or at least not related, so no, that's fine. It may be, I'll look that up as well. But yeah, if there is, you know, if we do need to put in a console command and then it'll allow us to kill him and take his stuff, we will indeed do that. I mean, if it was, if we had an option to tell him to go back to our house, we would also do that. Because uh, then at least, kind of, his stuff is at least at our house. But uh, yeah, it won't even let us do that. So <laughs> yeah, instead, we are now going to go to Winterhold. Um, and we need to go to the Frozen Hearth. And we are looking for yet another journal slash note. Uh, because the... Uh... <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind uh, my, my, my uh, new friend. Guys, be, be nice to him, even though I'm not going to be nice my to him to if I get the chance. Waste time talking with um, yeah, I'm actually not trying to talk to you. You're the one talking to me. So, uh, you know, if you could shut up, that would be brilliant. So we are looking for a journal of some kind. Oh! That looks like a journal to me. Seeks Ancient Artifacts Journal, Volume 1. That sounds like an Argonian name to me. Started the Sanctuary and the Manufactory. That's quite the mouthful. Skyrim Expedition, Day 1. I have arrived in Skyrim to solve a single mystery, to find the lost sanctuary of Nishuanthums. <laughs> According to legend, it was built by the famed Dwemer architects Klaudic and Duramak, the latter of whom is said to be a distant relative of the great Dumak Dwarf King. While the two began as rivals, though, mutual respect and through mutual respect and admiration, they eventually became friends, and over time, much more. Whereas Klaudic was an architect of great renown, his palatial estates suffered from their excess. The size of his rooms matched only by their emptiness. Duramak, on the other hand, was a genius engineer, but lacked the artistic vision to allow his inventions to reach their full potential. It's only when they joined forces to create Yeshuanthums that they built something truly profound. If I am to find their creations, I must grasp history itself by the tail. Skyrim Expedition, Day 17. Our travels have brought us to this bleak underground tunnel, which the natives call Frost Root Cave. Its winding cords of ice and rock make it truly a miserable place. My scales feel chilly, but more so my nerves. Luckily, we've hired a few soldiers of fortune into our employ. Some would call them bandits, but I like to refer to them as mercenaries at a discount. <laughs> Hopefully I can convince them not to touch the artifacts and keep the scrap instead. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we'll see how that went, I think. Um, this guy's actually pretty tall, you know. Oh no, I didn't mean to didn't mean to draw my weapon. Yeah, like look look at this guy, he's actually really tall. I swear they're not that tall in oblivion. I mean it's kinda like if he actually stood up straight, he'd probably be the same height as me. So yeah, that's interesting. So it looks like we are heading towards a Dwemer ruin. I really, really want that sphere and that face mask. <laughs> I really hope there's a way to get it. So where is this? Oh wow. All the way over here? Oh wow, okay, it's right next to Cabrin Settle. Okay, I mean, it's strange that it would be in Winterhold, because they usually put the journals, like, you know, right next to locations. So, I mean, I feel like Winterhold or even Riften would have been better. Anyway, let's go to Cagrenzel, uh, which is a very, very cool place. Um, and it, Oh, look, we've got some, we've got some trolls. Uh, go, go, what's, what's your name again? Go? Yeah, Go. Uh, let's uh, let's tr test out your fighting skills, shall we? And let's uh, clear out this frost troll, who's currently 
chasing down a fox because <laughs> uh, that's obviously far more important than me who is creeping up behind me go where are you buddy i need you to whoa um did did he summon that did did you summon that did did you actually yeah go storm that you you can summon things I mean, yeah, I guess they do use magic, don't they? I just, I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> that really kind of threw me off there. Okay, well, he might actually be more useful than I thought he could be. I'm still going to kill him if <laughs> I get the chance. Um, if we can't kill him um, and, you know, if we use the console to kill him and, you know, we can't take his stuff, then I'll just tell him to leave because I don't want a follower. Uh, and also he's going to ruin our sneak here anyway, but never mind. Uh, we'll keep him around for the time being, um, and I will see what I can do after this episode. So, it looks like we do indeed have some dwarven architecture. Can you, like, run a little bit quieter, please? Thanks. <laughs> uh, but it is rooted in a cave, which is exactly what the journal described. I can hear Dwemer constructs going off. I don't know what... Oh! I see a bandit there. Or perhaps these are the discount mercenaries the journal referred to. Hi! Okay, that's just normal bandit dialogue. Hi, love. Um, no! Oh! Okay. Whoa! You do a lot of damage! You know what? Good, good for you. He might actually be, like, the best follower ever. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to look up, like, what the community's opinion on this guy is, because he could actually be a really excellent follower in terms- I mean, I don't use followers, so I don't really know much. I may as well just get out Sneak, honestly, because this guy's going to ruin it anyway, so, whatever. Um, hi guys! Uh, yeah, um, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty cool, but honestly, I don't- I'm not sure if you want to meet my friend, because he seems pretty cool as well. And he also has a second friend, uh, which is cool. My sword is unfortunately out of charge. Um, that's fine. We can recharge it in a minute. Yeah, wow, this guy is pretty damn good. Although his uh, his own storm action act is blocking his passage, which is just about companions in a nutshell for you. But here is Nish and Thumbs. <laughs> I mean, the problem with all these uh, crazy names, Access Nishuamsum's Manufactory, uh, is that we don't get to hear them pronounced because of the you know, Creation Club not having any dialogue, really. Hi! <laughs> Wizards. Three that's power. What was he thinking? But they got Ooh, that never saw me from that ace out of my can boot. Turn wood to gold. Okay, don't, that's not unique dialogue, is it? I don't know. I turn wood to gold. Hi! Um... Someone there? Someone no, 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 no one's... Okay. Okay, <laughs> can they not see? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh wow, okay, that, that was that was abysmal. I fully accept that that was abysmal. Is this guy doing like AOE damage? Or is it the storm match? I don't know. I'm like Oh Oh shit, I think I upset the storm match in that. Ugh No, I didn't mean it. Ugh, okay, well hopefully it'll disappear in a second. Well, how very annoying. Right, so we've got this gate here, which I think we need to cut the web. Oh no, we don't. Okay. Okay, so we've got spider webs, so I'm assuming there's going to be some spiders. And yes, the Atronach has indeed disappeared. What does this do? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Summon Dwarven Spider Renovator. The, the, what now? <laughs> I have no idea what that is going to allude to at all. Um... But, okay, cool. Where did we come from? We came from that way, so... Man, I am already getting super confused. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, the spider webs. I, I guess the spider webs are meant to insinuate that... Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> that actually scared the crap out of me. Can you please stop summoning the storm action act, like, right on top of me? That's getting quite irritating, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I suppose the spider webs are supposed to insinuate that, you know, this place has been empty for a very long time. Uh, this is going back more towards the way we came, but I want to make sure that we explore everything and don't miss anything. So yeah, this is, yeah, this is back towards the entrance, that's fine. So, what else is there in here? We've got a cool little, little waterfall here. 
That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Nice, nice little bath, I suppose. That's kind of like, uh, you know, what the Roman baths look like. Or so I'm told. <laughs> ne never seen one in person. I got a skiva here. Oh my god, this place is amazing. Uh, one handed increase, nice. I've uh, got some more enemies back here. Oh, more skeevers, really? Okay, well, I mean, if it's gonna. We can kill the skeever, thank you. That's why they're smaller than regular skeevers. Are they? I don't know, and I also. I'm really confused as to where I have and haven't been, but I think there doesn't seem to be much to discover here, so I think we should probably just go deeper into the. The Shoe Anthems Manufacturing, which I'm sure I'm saying very incorrectly. Explore the manufactory. Well, that is indeed the plan. Uh, so, we've got a door here. Oh my god, this place is huge. What's over here? More? Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna be so lost by the end of this. Examine the corpse for clues. Seek ancient artifacts whose tail is still moving. Uh, so yes, here we have, uh, Seek's Ancient Artifact Journal, Volume 2, a chicken's egg. Uh, ooh, a Dwemer Actuator. Well, that seems important, don't you think? And let's read that journal. Volume 2. Day 19. We have spent two whole days stumbling almost blindly in the dark, and then suddenly, there it was, the shoe anthems. It is here that Clogic and Duramac built their home. It was once a grand palace, but time and negligence have humbled its mechanical splendour. Just gotta wait for these notifications to leave. <laughs> Nevertheless, by making this discovery, we have etched our place in history. What a fool I am to think I could control these mechanical puppets as Duramac did. Based on my notes, it seems I must summon a dwarven sphere overseer and provide it with the following parts. Three large cogs, three actuators, one unit of oil. But alas, I am a historian, and the language of machines is foreign to me. I've managed to figure out how to summon the overseer by, pressuring the, by pressing the side buttons on the panel, but I wouldn't know what an actuator was, even if it smacked me in the face. For now, I must rest and regain my strength. I am so tired. Yeah, unfortunately, that didn't go too well. So, ah, activate Dwarven Sphere overseer okay so we've got two activate manufacturing okay what what does our quest say so we need to collect dwemer cox and dwemer actuators and then summon the dwarven sphere overseer okay so okay we already have dwemer oil which is good good thing i pick up everything oh assembly line constructions or instructions <laughs> According to my research, Durenbach's construct constructs were meant to clean and organise the living space. Klogic was creative but messy. His thoughts are scrambled that only Durenbach understood. While the Centaurion and Sphere assembly lines are damaged beyond repair, the Spider construct can thankfully do the same work, albeit a bit slower pace. The assembly line can be powered by placing a dynamo in the actuator, which should provide the energy required to build the construct. Once the construct is built, I'll need to activate the levers in the house to have it renovate various sections of the home. By my calculations, each section should take no longer than a day to finish. Okay, I see. So we are trying to... Oh, well, we've got a drama actuary here, oil, two cogs. Okay, so you know, we've got pretty much most of the stuff we need right here. He's actually going to... Oh, wow, really? They put, put them all right in this room. Okay, I'll also take that uh, grand soul gem. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I think we need another cog still or no do we have all of them now return yeah we, yeah okay so we do yeah we do have all the parts okay so activate dwarven sphere overset ah uh talk ah delivered require repair parts positive clicks <laughs> oh okay where where are you going way to do it oh activate Turn on the manufactory. Was was that a good shake? Or a bad shake? Uh, I've got another quest marker. Construct a dwarven spider renovator. Okay, so yeah, it seems like we're basically constructing all of these things to try and turn, uh, bring, bring this place back to life and clean up the uh, home so that we can hopefully then use it. And it seems like it's gonna take some time. 
That's pretty cool. So it looks like we need to go down here. Probably put our sword away. There don't seem to be too many enemies in here. Uh, hopefully this guy is going to do whatever it is he's meant to do. <laughs> um, oh yes, we need a... Oh yeah, we don't have a dynamo core. Um, where can we find a dynamo core? I mean, I'm really hoping that they have placed one here. Even if we, we have to go like, you know, back through there in order to get one. I really hope we don't have to go to another... Oh, here we go. Here's, yeah, here we go. Here's Centurion and hopefully he will have a core. Yes, he has two in fact. Brilliant. Uh, and I'll also take his other stuff while I'm here as well. Uh, yeah, so that doesn't work. Yeah, so this is what the, the thing was saying. So the, the sphere and the Centurion one is broken, but we can use the spider one, which is still pretty cool. Keep up, keep up, go. Come on, we've got important work to do here. Uh, our stamina keeps running out though. But we now have a Centurion core, or Dynamo core. So now we can push the button. Oh, look, there we go. Summon the Dwarven Spider Renovator to clean a section of the house. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's what the, uh... oh, look at that. Look, so they're like pipes. They travel through the pipes. Oh, that's super cool. Oh, that's really, yeah. Do you know what? I have never ever made the connection that that is how they get around. But yeah, because obviously the, the spears and the dwarven spiders, they always pop out of these things. But yeah, they must travel to different sections of the dwarven cities using the pipes. How have I never realized that? Like literally, how many hours have I put in this, into this game? Hundreds? <laughs> I haven't checked recently, but literally hundreds of hours I've put into this game. And I never realized that they traveled through the pipes. I kind of, yeah. <laughs> how did I not realize that? But yeah, anyway, that's cool. So if we now go back, we can flip one of those levers. And it should, in theory, start cleaning up the house for us. Um, which is uh, still quite the maze for me, so... Ah, yes, yeah, see? So, let's pull the lever. Oh, look, see? Yeah, he came through the pipe. Oh, that's so cool. Wait 24 hours for the renovations to finish. Okay. Well, I can wait 24 hours right here, right now. Um, I haven't really got much to talk about while we're doing it. Um, I suppose I could uh, start a quick Google search <laughs> to see if I can uh, kill Go. Can... I kill go for his stuff. Skyrim. <laughs> okay, some of the dwarf. Oh, look, there we go. Look, so it's all cleaned up now. We have like a. Oh, look at this. This is cool. Oh, this Jasper. Nice. Nice. I like this little room. Look, we've got a little alchemy thing over here. Nice. I'll be taking this. Thank you so much for all of this stuff. Uh, well, we put to good use, trust me. Uh, we have, oh, a game at dinner. Of course, we've already read that. Alchemy table, that's nice. Nice little tree in the corner here. Uh, not really sure where... Oh, fertile soil, cool. We can actually grow things in here as well. Not really sure where the little guy found these trees, but, you know, I'm sure he's very resourceful using those uh, pipes of his that I can't realise. <laughs> I can't believe I only just realised that that's what they're using for. But... Yes, it looks like we need to... Oh, look, he tidied up in here as well. Yes, yeah, so we need to summon him to... Oh, wow, has he done, like, all of it? Really? Because, yeah, look, this looks like it's all cleaned up now, which is really cool. Uh, I see a shiny gem in here that caught my eye. Oh, two shiny gems. Nice. Two is always better than one. I just, just saw something shiny out the corner of my eye. Um, and I was like, ooh, gotta go see what that is. Uh, I also see all of these things that we are going to take, of course, because you know I just can't help myself. Um, it's a sickness, I absolutely am a hoarder. Uh, I've got a bookshelf there that we can activate. This room is all nice and tidy too. Ooh, lovely gems. I do I do enjoy that. Uh, Akaji does as well. She also enjoys gems. Uh, I've got a map here. Uh, some other stuff, lots of dwarven stuff. I suppose that's really the only decorations uh, they have on hand. Uh, wardrobes, more... Uh, Mannequins, got a nice big bed here. Uh, any other stuff for us to take on here? I didn't want the wooden bowl, but never mind. That tundra cotton is falling through the shells, which is always interesting. Myths of Sheogorath. And what have we got through here? Excuse me, I said open the door. Thank you. Oh, wait, 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 we've got a chest here, which is empty. Never mind, that's probably to store stuff in. 
Uh, yeah, so it looks like he did, I mean, all of the work. It, it still says we need to, you know, ask him to clean up more stuff, but like, he seems to have done everything if you ask me. But perhaps there is a front room or something? I'm not really sure. That chest is empty. Also, hopefully our goblin friend like, oh no, look, here we go. This bit is not done yet. So let's, uh, let's get him to clean up this bit, shall we? This is the level we saw before. And now let's wait another 24 hours and I'll see what my Google search wheel did. <laughs> so, can I kill Go? <laughs> That's a very, very important question. Okay, well, a lot of people are talking about glitches in that he went missing and now it's ruined a lot of things. So that's an important thing to note. You cannot trade items with him, nor can he be killed. Okay, oh, so the spear he has is this called the Spear of Bitter Mercy. Okay, that's very interesting. We'll read more in a moment. Oh, I'll take this all. Thank you very much. Got a nice little uh, setup here of uh, smithing, which is very nice. Uh, we've got more stuff. This is more like an entryway. Man, <laughs> this house is very cool, but honestly very confusing. <laughs> yeah, I would not use this house, like, permanently because I think I would just get lost all of the time. Which is not particularly fun, if you ask me. Oh no, it's an iron helm. I think I want to see if I can get an ancient Nord helm and also the other, uh, the soul husk and stuff, because I really want to try that, um, you know, summoning thing. This is just floating. Isn't that brilliant? Great job, Bethesda. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really want to try that and see what other combinations. I don't know if it's kind of like the Atronac Forge in that, you know, if you actually try different things, it might wield something else. So, yeah, I really want to try that, but that doesn't mean I'm going to have to do the entire, <laughs> or most of the Dawnguard DLC, which is not, uh... Okay, that goes back to the cave. So, yeah, this is the front door. I think this should take us back round to the other bit that we've already seen. Yeah, I think that's where we've, we've been in there, right? So what's this way? Oh, we didn't go in here, did we? Oh, this is like a throne room. Okay. So yeah, there must be something else through here. Wow, we did not go through here. But it looks like there is indeed another lever over here. Yes, there is. So let's pull this and uh, we'll give him 24 hours. Let's read this wiki. So yes, the replica is well, a spear of bitter mercy. Oh, a replica can be made at the replica station in the curator's office with the following materials, two steel ingots and two firewood. The spear of bitter mercy is a Daedric artifact that first appeared in an Elder Scrolls legend battle spire and later in the Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. It is unclear how Go came into possession of this powerful artifact. Rumour says that it was given to him by Hercene. So yes, it is indeed a Morrowind reference, which is why I don't know what it is, but we might be a, yeah, but I think we might be able to make a replica of it to at least add to our collection. Okay, well that's cool. I will look into that more, but it looks like this place is all finished as well. I think, did it tell us to do that? Yeah, no, there we go. The quest is complete now. So they believe that is everything we've done everything to do in this particular home very cool oh look we've got a uh, really cool oven as well does that actually make different stuff yeah i think it does are there, are there ovens in the vanilla game or have i just completely missed that maybe i might have i don't really concern myself with cooking and stuff but i would like to very much look at this cool throne room what's in this chest not much but i'll take it anyway i suppose and Oh, what does this button do? Nothing? Really? <laughs> oh, come on. It doesn't do anything. Are you joking me? Nothing at all? Oh, wait. No, I think it turns the steam on. Yeah, it does. Look at that. Let's sit, sit in our throne, shall we? <laughs> Look at that. We're using, like, the, uh, the Yarl animation. Nice. Okay. Well, it won't really, uh, let me change my viewpoint but yeah very cool very cool that'll probably be the thumbnail if i'm being honest but i think that is everything we have so oh it's trophy base choose an item to create oh look at this this is cool so yeah you can do this uh as part of the half fire dlc as well and it's also a thing in uh battle horn castle in oblivion yes man names uh names are very difficult for me oh wait wait what's through here is this are we done this bit? 
I'm so kind of so lost. <laughs> this place is so massive. I mean, it's really cool. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, so we've been here. Yeah, I'm so lost. <laughs> this place is really, really cool, but also not very, uh, not very user-friendly. <laughs> but anyway, we are going to end this episode here. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of us uh, exploring this Dwemer ruin. I want to make it, there we go. That's what I wanted. Yes, I hope you've enjoyed us uh, renovating this Blummer Ruin. I don't know where Go has gone, by the way, which is slightly worrying. Um, but nevertheless, <laughs> we're going to end this episode here. I will look more into whether or not we can retrieve that stuff um, or whether we can kill Go for it. It seems like not, but I will uh, see what I can do. And yeah, in the next episode, we will continue with some more quests. So for now, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode.